What's up, guys? Uh, Black Inferno Hub here. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. First video to top off the year 2018. Um, this is something pretty exciting. It's, well, I guess, it, I don't know exactly what. I literally just cut this open because I didn't want to, like, do a stop pause. But, yeah, if it's in the correct box. Yep. A Dell laptop. You can probably guess which one, um, since there's only like three or four Dell models that people actually talk about, like the Spectre, the XPS, and the Inspiron, the one that I got. I was going to throw this on the ground, I guess. <laughs> so, I got this. I don't know if they put the specs in the box. Yeah, they did. I got the slightly older one. Um side view so yeah okay that's why um so here we go see it includes all the regular things windows 10 i get a free switching for all that uh, i'll probably put another 8 gig in there at some point if this uh, is working completely fine because my last laptop broke down uh ironically enough after i ordered this my dad uh, fixed it. Like it's not a miss buy because uh, this is an upgrade and it's also what the hell? I literally just cut this. <laughs> literally. Ah, there we go. Because the old one had significant issues. They were something that I was dealing with while I was in college uh, but now that I'm back you know it's definitely would be better to just upgrade and get this all done uh, so I didn't realize that I was not even pointing at anything really even though there wasn't really anything to point at at that point in time so yeah just this random stuff I'm gonna go back to wide this is random stuff because otherwise you can't really see shit uh, take this out this is the brick this brick is much bigger <laughs> than the brick on my current laptop but it's not a huge brick uh, apparently the battery life on this model is supposed to be pretty decent which is another thing while I upgraded um, because the battery life on my current laptop deteriorated like so bad um, to the point where it was basically like a max of two hours basically if I'm trying to do anything like of actual use like if I was just browsing web or something it probably wouldn't be it would probably be like three maybe four hours which is somewhat standard I guess but I don't like that shit uh, yeah this is the one I got 5000 this was the one that was released uh, slightly earlier in the year. That was the quick start guide. This is probably, this might be the warranty stuff. <clears throat> is this the warranty stuff? Yep. Warranty stuff, I should, should be at least a year. Um, I've heard some things, some unflattering things in some reviews when I picked this up. Uh, but most of the reviews, well, actually, I am going to pause it this time because I'm definitely not trying to drop this shit. So uh, I'll be right back. Hello, guys. Uh, that would be edited in. I accidentally pressed the end instead of the pause like I intended to do. Um, but yeah, there's also unclear, like, I don't know why Amazon does that with some products. But with laptop models, if you get... Like, laptops have a whole series of models, a whole bunch of different ones, but they lump it, <clears throat> lump the reviews and all that into one. So yes, this is the, like, actual gaming model, because I've seen other ones that looked like a regular, like, laptop design. This looks really nice. Oh my gosh. I love red. That's my favorite color. And this just looks so sexy. It's not really coming through on here too well. Let me see. This is a light. Here we go. 
can move this away now. Gonna be moving to a different place uh, quite soon anyway. Just gonna do the first boot up over here, and then I'm gonna, actually no, never mind. I forgot the router is right here. So we're gonna stay right here. <laughs> so this is all good. Um, it's not too heavy. It's definitely much more heavy uh, than my current laptop. Let's get a quick look around at this. Oh, well, that's some stuff on the counter. It's not like actually sticky. Here we go. You see how nice that is. Uh, actually, let me like zoom in. <laughs> you can see the ports has a full size SD slot. Uh, one USB 3.0. I think all of them are 3.0. Here's an HDMI port, which I am I so good. My laptop has a, a mini display port hate that shit um why my camera works so bad man <laughs> uh and here's the ethernet port i'm about to plug that in uh when they prop me to and on this side if you can see that it's headphone slash headset jack and two usb 3.0s and then there's the charger jack uh here's the vents all that give a quick look underneath i guess Ooh, even looks sexy underneath. I'm liking this a lot. Uh, first open. People were saying bad things about the screen, but I also heard you can replace it uh, fairly easily. But damn. Let me get a wide shot of this again. <laughs> damn, this is sexy. You guys seeing this? I love the red accent. As I said before, red's my favorite color. Hopefully this has some charge. If not... You can literally just plug it in and then it'll turn on until laptops work. Um, yeah, this looks pretty sleek. This has the TN panel. Um, so it will be a definite downgrade from mine. Because uh, mine was the Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro. That has a 3K screen. Definitely IPS. Beautiful screen. Uh, this trackpad is nice too. Has all this on it. I guess we can... See if this is going to start up. All right, maybe I should hold it. Okay. It seems that it does not have any power, so I will just plug it in. And I will press the pause this time. So then I won't have to sync two videos together. All right, here we go again. I let it sit for a moment or two to make sure that it got a little bit of juice. Going to take a look at the screen here. I think I'll probably just go into regular right here looks really nice so far I love how this looks it is definitely a bit heftier um, I'll do a comparison after this does the official first like boot up and stuff then I'm gonna have to go through you know um, updating everything so that's gonna be it's gonna be whatever um, let me come back when this is all finished <laughs> Um, actually, I did notice that it had that little button at the bottom because this was apparently just a full screen update. Assistant. So that's whatever. The trackpad is nice. I liked that. Um, wow. Well, yeah, you can see all that stuff. I am actually going to pause this again and put in this stuff. I uh, finished all that. Just went through looking at... Uh, Whatever this thing was. Uh, it popped up decently quick. Uh, this is not running off all SSD like my previous one is. So there's going to be a little bit um, bit of a longer pause. Uh, you might be able to hear the fan going right now. Uh, yeah, it's going entirely too... It's running entirely too hot right now for doing pretty much nothing uh but yeah we're gonna type in youtube find a random video see how these speakers sound all that um don't want to click on some trash thing then again i'm not signed in so it won't track back to me uh sure let's, let's see what this is sounds good 
My homies want to cut your head off. Yeah, I got um, I'm gonna let this do all the Windows updates first, but try it before I do any of these NVIDIA um, drivers and all that. Um, uh, so this is finishing up. I'll probably just come back when all the updating stuff is done. Uh, so this will just be a completely different video because I'm not going <laughs> to wait on this for probably like an hour. Probably be like an hour before I get everything done. But I don't know. It might be quicker. I'm not completely sure how many updates this is already doing. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. What's up, guys? It is now currently the next day. I've gone through. I've used this quite a bit. I set it mostly all the way up. Don't have any of the crazy stuff set up yet. Um, for like what I would be using in my classes and all that all crazy like. Uh, because it will get slightly more complicated to do that. Um... I ran Borderlands, um, of course it could power, <laughs> it, it ran very smoothly. Um, I didn't quite enjoy keyboard and mouse gameplay with that game, so I'm going to probably um, do DS4. I feel like I haven't set up like PS4 controllers with computer in a while because I just had mine set up on my laptop, but it's quick. I remember it was quick, so I'm going to set that up so I can... Um, Actually, I don't even... Yeah, you just need DS4, and then most PC games just um, sync the gamepad, I believe. Like, the controls in the gamepad. The inputs in the gamepad. But, yeah. Have the Borderlands trilogy. Uh, this is all of the DLC as well. Yep. Uh, Brutal Legend. Fun game that came out uh, way back. I think, like, 10 years... Was it 10? I was like, it was at least, like, 8 years ago, though. Uh... The Bureau, I believe this is the first XCOM that came out recently. That was like the first one that was on console as well. That one was decent, I believe, because I had that first console one on uh, Xbox 360. Counter-Strike runs beautifully. Um, I did not have um, any frame rate thing to show it. I, I didn't have fraps or anything like that. Uh, Dota 2 downloading as you can see. This is the original Fallout. They're giving that away for free. Haven't tried the Gary's mod yet. H1Z1 tried it. Uh, it runs well, but I forgot that the game is uh, kind of terrible. Uh, I'm going to have to definitely get PUBG at some point. Uh, Fortnite as well. But Fortnite's through a different client. I don't think it's on Steam at all. I've I don't know why the hell they have this game on PC, to be honest. This was from a humble, humble bundle. <laughs> I ain't ever going to play no NBA on a freaking PC. Uh, Outlast as well. They downloaded One Piece. It's a shame that this is the fighting game when it could have been the Warriors game. But it's whatever. Pillars of Eternity ran great. Um, This isn't that too, too demanding of a game anyway. But I definitely noticed a much smoother frame rate. Uh, haven't tried any of the other games on here. I did uh, just pick up Shogun 2, trying to see. This is like one of the most PC-centric games that you can get, so got that. Taking advantage of me having a PC that can game now. Definitely couldn't run this before on my other uh, laptop, let alone it was... This was really cheap. This was only $7. I think it was like 2025 before when I was looking at it back on my old laptop. That was like two years ago, I believe. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all with the games. Uh, everything runs well. Everything runs pretty smooth. Uh, the keyboard is really nice. Uh, There we go. The keyboard's really nice. The backlight was really nice when I was playing at night. Or more web surfing at night. Um, I did notice the trackpad. Um, 
it has kind of a it has this type of weird you can see that there's some oil there now see that's the comfortable space to move around in the rest of this area is kind of like uh, like it's kind of like a slight sandpaper effect um, nothing serious but like when I was using it for like a couple hours straight when I was setting up the laptop I felt like my finger <laughs> felt a little bit numb that's never happened on a trackpad before but it did get much better um, after you know some of my finger oils got into it and all that uh, I have two USB set up this is actual just USB this is a wireless um, mouse probably gonna upgrade with a better wireless mouse uh, sometime later and the screen the screen is not too bad um, I definitely saw see what people were talking about with the bad viewing angles but it's not really that bad um, you really just need to just get in a comfy position and adjust it and whatever you may have you, you know, it's definitely too serious. Um, I'm probably gonna do some more. Well, yeah, you can see my name on there. You could add me on there if you want to and play any of those games you saw that have online capability. Um, but yeah, I haven't messed around with the GeForce to do best performance for anything that GeForce to set it to best performance. It's currently uh, still on uh, bat best battery, but even at that, it's running most of the games fairly well. I put it at that. I could probably run PUBG or whatever. I'm not getting PUBG for a while though. So I think that's pretty much what I have to say about it. I, actually, no. Uh, the speakers on this mad loud, pretty decent. Way louder than my other laptop. Like significantly louder. You guys probably, it's probably way too loud when I played that test. But going through. Watching more stuff, listening to more of the game, music and all that, like, it's crazy loud. <laughs> I typically don't go over 50 <laughs> because that shit gets too loud. <laughs> um, this number pad, have not utilized it yet, but it should come in handy with coding. Um, that's what people say, at least. I don't know if it'll make any difference. I don't think it will. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, it has uh, this real quick, so then I don't have to press control. Uh, but that's only that's only a few keys. That's not even nothing really. It's whatever. And all right, so one of screen sound. Man, I'm not trying to go into wide because wide has slightly worse quality, I believe. Uh, Screen, sound, keyboard, keyboard's nice, like I said. Nice key travel. It's full size, so it's a big upgrade from what I was using before. Oh, yeah, I was going to compare. I'll compare after I list out the rest of this stuff. Um, runs things pretty well. Pretty snappy. Uh, boots up in about six seconds. Mm. What else? Oh, battery life. Battery life is good. Uh, it's fairly good. It's better than uh, my current laptop's state. Uh, this fluctuates. I don't even know if you can see that. No, you definitely cannot. <laughs> yeah, it's not even going to say it over here. Well, this thing at 75%, four and a half hours. It's not. That doesn't necessarily mean that's what it's going to get. Um, it, this does have weird issues where, well, when you start this up for some reason, I don't know why 
the the fans go crazy <laughs> when you first start this up but then it goes down um the fans can get uh not super loud but i guess if you're like sensitive to that stuff you'd be annoyed but i've had a regular ps4 and that thing gets pretty loud especially i went back to witcher 3 oh my gosh apparently witcher 3 should have just been a PS4 Pro fucking exclusive. Because <laughs> that is working that PS4 so hard and you can hear it. Uh, I think I remember it being that loud back then as well. But th that PS4 is kind of getting old. Uh, but yeah, so the fan noise doesn't really bother me too much. Um, it doesn't really come on that often when you're just browsing. Except for the first startup, like I said. So, I mean, if you're in public, you just take it out. It'll probably just annoy people a little bit for, like, 10 second stops. And if someone wants to complain about that, I mean, they can catch these hands. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, but, yeah, that's basically how that is. Screen is 1080p, regular. Uh, bad bad viewing angles um i'm not even gonna say it's decent i mean it is somewhat decent i don't even think you can tell in here no you can't even really tell on here but i mean from about this angle you can still see so from about this to here it's in the vertical that it gets kind of shifty wait you didn't even see that did you from about like this angle it's probably about like 20 degrees out from the screen yeah, probably about 20 degrees out from each side of the screen. And that's like the sweet spot for you to be able to see things in an all right color scheme. Um, it's in the vertical that it gets kind of bad. Um, like right back here. Yeah, you can see it on screen even a little bit. It's very dark. Very dark. Up here... It's a bit saturated, but not too bad. Right there, you can't even see that anyway. But, <laughs> yeah. If you put it back too far, it'll just get very dark. A bit too forward, it'll get saturated. Sat the hell is that? Saturated. Um, but, yeah. This video should be up later today. Um, depending on... I don't think it'll take long to process the video or anything. <laughs> if it does, then I guess it will just be another day. But, um, yeah, that's basically where it's from. Um, I do want to say, I said this before, red's my favorite color. But this, the red accents on this are just so great. Like, it's not crazy. It's not crazy. But I can still show my love for red <laughs> out on the streets. That was cringe. But, yeah. I mean, it's a lot more red in here. <laughs> especially with... Uh, especially with the um, backlit keep, uh, keyboard on. That is very good. It has a function key of its own that you can switch between two brightnesses, which is um, pretty cool. This one only had one brightness. It wasn't too bright, but you don't really need it to be super bright anyway. Um, this can get super bright and down to like a normal brightness that you would use. And it's cool that it's some function key that's already set up. Because otherwise for this, I'd have to press the actual function key and then... Um, Punch key and space bar, yeah. And then it's just one brightness. Um, so that's it for this clip. I'll probably insert some other clips from whatever I think of. If not, then uh, you can see that I ran out of things to think about for this video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.